vast, ominous, mythical. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, one of the greatest mysteries of our time. Get the life jacket. Popularized in Hollywood. Why isn't it getting any better? It's getting, getting worse. Driving that mystery, stories like the Lost Squadron, five U.S. Navy aircraft that vanished over the Triangle in 1945. We're in the Bermuda Triangle. Yes, you are presently in the Bermuda Triangle. I head into the depths with scientist Dr. Philip Ruja, Bermuda's custodian of historic shipwrecks. So we're headed out to the Western Blue Cut. If you want to call it a mystery, there are, seem to be spots around Bermuda where you get two, three, or four shipwrecks, one on top of the other. Bermuda is an island settled by shipwreck survivors, littered with over 300 sunken boats. Why? Explanations abound from aliens and sea monsters to supernatural forces, even the lost city of Atlantis. Ruja has a more grounded theory. Bermuda is surrounded by a, a network of reef, like stunning reef, that come right to the surface. And when ships encounter those, they literally break them apart. If you go back in time to your old wooden ships and stuff like that, those ships had no chance. Stories of those early wrecks fueled the mythology that followed. Using the terminology of today, you would call the triangle? Well, I mean, you know, this is the oldest fake news story in the world. I mean, you know, like this, this has been around for a long time and, you know, people build on it. So many theories. Yes, we're still researching them. Lana Alexina, exhibit designer for Bermuda's Ocean Discovery Center, has delved into over a dozen of them. It's not a matter of how many things disappear, it's a matter of how they disappear. Scientists agree, our oceans remain the true mystery. Dr. Simon Boxall from the University of Southampton made a splash with one theory. And then suddenly we get that peak happening just there. The rogue wave occurs where several wave systems come together and they create a super wave. They're rare, they don't happen very often, but when they do happen, you get a wave that can easily swamp a ship, even at super tanker size. A potential explanation in the triangle's storm-prone waters. Still, according to Lloyds of London, there are no more losses in the Bermuda Triangle than anywhere else in the ocean. And yet, what is it about human nature, even for the skeptics right. like you and me professionally, that just maybe. I think that we're also storytellers, right? We're the storytelling animal. You know, as an anthropologist, that's the way I look at it. We really want to be a part of a big story. So we want to believe. We want to believe, and, and it's important that we try to believe, because that is the impetus for scientific understanding. In this case, perhaps we should embrace both fact and fiction. Wow. I cannot believe how many wrecks we saw. That's the story of Bermuda. It's a shipwreck island. For today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Bermuda. What do we think, science or supernatural? <laughs> I'd like to go to Bermuda and find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a long well, fact-finding trip. Further but if you could necessary. just fly around the Bermuda Triangle, wouldn't yeah. you? Just, yeah, yeah. Just why not? Tempt the fates. Yeah. Yeah. Let's follow up. Let's All right, go. coming up.